It was 1999 in Norman, Oklahoma. Josh Heibel just transferred from junior college and was ready to prove himself at quarterback, hoping to revive a struggling team. But there were a lot of questions. A junior college guy coming in. It was Bob Stoops' first season as head coach. The team would go 7-5. and five. He got kind of kick-started us that first year. Bobby Jack Wright was an assistant coach on Oklahoma staff. Josh was a great, great competitor, a great quarterback, a great thrower of the football. He, he was a gym rat. I mean, he was one of those guys that was going to stay out there late. He would throw routes after practice with all of his receivers. And there'd be nights that I'd be going down the steps about, you know, 1030 at night, quarter 11. And you'd see the lights on on the second floor where the meeting rooms were. And I'd, I assumed it was the janitor cleaning. So one night I walked down there because the door was open in the quarterback room. And there's Josh all by himself watching tape. Before his time at Kansas, Mark Mangino took over as Oklahoma's offensive coordinator in 2000. When he came in, you know, he, he proved right away that he belonged and he could make plays on a high level and uh, he was unselfish. A leader on and off the field, Heupel would guide his team to a national championship, earning a Heisman nomination himself. Never potted about being corrected or anything. He took it as fuel to just get better. A young Josh Heupel hoping to make his team better then at Oklahoma. And now, as a coach, doing that same thing at Tennessee. Uh, I think he was born a coach. You know, his uh, he's a son of a coach. And I think from the time he was in diapers, he was around football. And the thing I love watching uh, Tennessee while Josh is, is leading that team is you see all the things that, that he probably learned as a player and then the things that, that he's picked up along the way uh, that he's added to his repertoire.